we will move along to two pieces that once again are written by people who are allowed. Uh, this next piece I'm going to play, actually the next two pieces I'm going to play, have a lot of effects in them. What I mean by that is that they, um, they don't necessarily just have you playing with the bow normally on the string. There will be things like playing way, way up here that's supposed to sound icy. There will be things where I am um, not playing with the hair, I'm playing with the wood. <coughs> and there will be times that I am plucking more than one tune at the same time. So uh, these pieces are very, very short. But I think it's really interesting that it concentrated into one two minute piece and one three minute piece. There's all these sorts of different techniques going on. First of these two pieces, uh, these little digs I'm gonna play, this is the second time this piece has ever been heard in America. This uh, is written by a gentleman named David Hayes, who is a wonderful bass player and composer and teacher in England. Um, he wrote this piece for a bass competition that was actually in Spain. Uh, but his publisher had not published it yet, and they said, does anybody in America want to play this? Like, that looks really cool. I want to play that. But somebody else played it first three weeks ago in California. So this is not the American premiere, but we can say this is the <coughs> Central Time Zone. <laughs> uh, and you will hear in this piece things that sound vaguely <coughs> Arabian because this piece is indeed called Sahara. And then the next piece is a piece that um, the person the composer wrote it for never did play it. And then I played it 10 times on one of my tours about six or seven years ago. And it has, again, all these sort of interesting effects in it. It has me playing with the E string opened all the way to the C. And it also has something in it that if any of you are lulled by the time I get to this section, something that will completely wake your ass up. <laughs> that instead of actually plucking normally, I'm going to play notes that are marked snap pizzicata, where you, instead of pulling the string across, you pull the string all the way out, so it slams really hard against the fingerboard. I haven't done that in a mic situation in a long, long time, so if things start falling from the ceiling, that's not my call. <laughs> So, because it makes a really, really loud noise. That's in the next piece. So, for the next six minutes or so, here's two pieces. They're very, very short, but they have lots of effect in them. Here is Sahara by David Hayes, and here is Codex by Carson Coomer. <laughs> 